Scorpio. Last but not least on that bonus read, come through. Thank you guys for joining me today. I am Intuitive Flow. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome back. This is a bonus, bonus April read. Um, you guys got the most votes along with Taurus and Aries. So if you have those placements in your chart, definitely check out those readings. The Aries read got no fucking love. So I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to think that that poll won because of my Scorpio gang. Scorpio gang, 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 Anyway, like up on this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Hitting the bell is most important, Scorpio, because you guys are able to see when I upload or decide to go live. I don't want you guys to miss that. And YouTube sometimes be playing them games. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, Eva, um... You can definitely book with me. My information is down below. So anyway, let's get into it, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or whatever you have Scorpio placements. This is going to be for April 23. What you need to be aware of as it pertains to love, okay? Holy Divine Spirit, Universe, Source, messages for Scorpio. What do we need to be aware of? Okay, there's an unplanned pregnancy that you may be finding out about. Walking on eggshells. Some of you guys could be finding out you're pregnant by someone you feel you have to walk on eggshells around. Or you could be afraid to tell someone. All right, we have secret getaway. I'm hearing something about you being safer to tell someone this information once you're at a secret getaway, all right? There needs to be distance created before telling this person. This could be anybody. This could be you telling the person you're pregnant by, telling your parents, grandparents, friends. I don't know, but it's somebody you feel you have to walk on eggshells around, all right? Feeling rejected here. I feel like you could be leery on telling someone that you're pregnant due to already feeling rejected by this person or this person feeling rejected by you. Then to find out this big news, there could be something around a breakup. And as soon as the breakup is official, you get this information here. All right, there's a plot twist. All right, some of you guys could, it could be a false alarm. All right, we're getting married. We, we, we're getting married. Hmm. We have getting married here. Someone could have been making it seem as though you needed to walk on eggshells around them, but they could be really planning some type of engagement or trying to surprise you we have moving on and we have husband someone you could be finding out that someone is moving away from a marriage or someone could be changing their mind around marriage yes yeah, separation so you could have been dealing with someone who's engaged and they're going to decide to move on I feel like the plot twist is that they're going to propose to you. The ex. Oh, what's that? Lust. I feel like it was only lust with these two. All right. There's also something around once this person finally moves on with you, Scorpio, this ex is going to be exposing that they're pregnant, but I feel like it's a lie. All right. Uh, 
unfinished business. Emotionally abusive here. I feel like being emotionally abusive is also continuously rejecting someone. You could have fell into this person's arms because you were feeling rejected by your husband and you could have been dealing with an emotionally abusive husband as well. So you're deciding to move on, but there is some unfinished business. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be at a getaway, but I see you plotting. I see you strategizing. I see you coming up with ideas on what to do when you return back to this, you know, this space where your husband is because there's unfinished business there. All right. Wow. I'm also picking up on like somebody really tiptoeing around the house. This could be you, Scorpio. This could be you. Like tiptoeing around the house, getting last minute things. Because I'm picking up on like you, <laughs> you clearing out the house like before your husband gets home or something like that. Yeah, I'm picking up there was never, there was no love in this marriage. It was purely lust. That's why it was so easy for someone to reject you or emotionally manipulate you. Let's get something on this unplanned pregnancy. For Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like whatever this pregnancy is, it's either it either was a false positive or it was a lie altogether or this it, this pregnancy is being put on hold right by source yeah seven of pentacles which is giving me eight of pentacles so whoever's in this um unplanned pregnancy energy there's there's something around forcing trying really hard working hard to manifest a pregnancy i am picking up on whoever this is source the universe is pretty much tired of their contradicting energy i feel like they're going to move away from this energy altogether yeah the ace of swords it's because somebody is trying to or somebody is manifesting a pregnancy or a child in a very toxic or unsafe environment right Yeah, I'm literally picking up on a fetus saying, no, no, no. Because <laughs> you know how our children choose us. <laughs> Somebody's trying to figure out like, why when I get pregnant? Like, I don't know. Moving on. Walking on eggshells here. <laughs> Temperance. There's uh, balance being restored here as it pertains to you walking on eggshells. I feel like this is with the Sagittarius. Or you could feel like you have to walk around. You could feel like you're walking on eggshells. Ugh, I can't even get it out. You could feel like you're walking on eggshells around a Sag or a Sag feels this way around you. Ace of Swords. There's clarity around reconciliation. There's clarity around being patient. Being patient for what? Five of Pentacles, Ace of um, Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. So if there's something around being patient as it pertains to clarity over inspired action. Something around gaining enough money or ground under your feet before taking action or leaving somebody in the cold or leaving this situation in the cold here. There is inspired action here, enthusiasm, excitement. 
around going towards a queen of pentacles or becoming a queen of pentacles out of this five of pentacles queen of cups what is the secret getaway yeah three of wands you're definitely traveling I feel like this is going to be a perfect month for you to take action. Five of wands at the bottom of the deck. What is it? Three of, three of wands. Ten of swords, king of swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here, but this is coming to an end. You're, you're definitely moving away from this person. I feel like your back is turned. It's more so like this. I see somebody looking for you, all right? So be aware of somebody putting putting in some type of like amber alert or something. If you're planning to leave somebody or end a toxic situation, uh, definitely have your, your, what is it called? Some of you guys might be doing this solo, solo dolo, or you might have children with you because I did see a child on the, on the five of pentacles. But if you do have a tight circle, I'm being advised for you to, like, co-horse them. But it's something about this king of swords that's not easy to lie to or persuade or to convince. Okay, so be aware that this person might get information out of somebody. So if you're truly trying to escape a situation, I wouldn't tell a soul. This could be a co-worker that they might reach out to or somebody you work with. I did see co-worker here. Yeah, I think that'll be a big mistake for you to tell a co-worker specifically. What is feeling rejected? Yeah, somebody could be, somebody could have rejected you, but in the month of April, be aware of this person uh, now turning into a stalker. I wanted to know your every move, your whereabouts, who you're with, what you're doing, why you're doing it. Like just somebody being super nosy and having other people nosy or having other people stalk you too. After rejecting you or, or after making you feel rejected, but you found love in a hopeless place here, Scorpio. Or you will. Within. Because it's like that, it's like the energy I'm picking up on Scorpio is like allowing someone to mistreat you or feel like they're getting away with mistreating you when all that's doing is is, is pushing you closer and closer to your higher self, which is going to inspire movement and inspire you to take action away from this here. communication will be very high this month i just be aware of this person trying or this person communicating with you more than usual this month they could be suspicious of your your moves what is the plot twist eight of pentacles page of cups this person could feel like, okay, I'm getting a couple messages. Hold on. There's something around your person feeling as though you're so predictable that when you disappear or you sneak off to your secret getaway, they feel like it's going to be so easy to find you. Oh, Scorpio is just at work. Scorpio loves to work. Scorpio can't get away from work. They wouldn't go anywhere else but work. Once they get there, you're not there. Nobody has seen you. Nobody knows where you are. You could be off getting married for God knows what. The moon. You could be connecting with the Cancerian. What is the getting married? You could be somewhere eloping. Or getting engaged. Queen of Swords. Because for some of you guys, a small few, you're married, okay? Because we have a husband here, but it's very tumultuous, okay? 
What is the Queen of Swords? I feel like a mother is going to snitch. Three of Swords, King of Pentacles. What is that? Four of Pentacles. King of Wands. A lot of kings here. Listen, I definitely do. I'm, I, I keep hearing, unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. So with the King, the Queen of Swords, Three of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles, someone may be like wanting you back. Or someone's holding on to you. But I'm still getting a manipulative energy from this person with the Three of Swords here. I feel like this person may very well manipulate you all the while have a mistress. Queen of, Queen of Swords behind the Three of Swords. And that's the type of woman who is comfortable being in that position. I'm going to just be 100. This is somebody they could possibly cry to or confide in about you moving on. They could be, they could even be telling this person to go after you or to find you or go get you back or something like that. What is moving on for Scorpio, the devil? Yeah, this person has a strong attachment to you. I feel like the, I feel like you guys are attached to each other, but you're fed up with this person's behavior as far as them rejecting you and being emotionally abusive to you. You're breaking the chains. Yeah, nine of pentacles. You're just tired of this person's uh, toxic ways and the way they handle themselves as it pertains to you and the way that they handle you emotionally, physically. You're, you're pretty much over it. You're moving on. Strength card here. I feel somebody being very agitated or ir irritated with you. It's like as soon as somebody see you um, leveling up or getting yourself together, you know, loving yourself more, becoming more responsible and organized. Like it, it's like one of them things like say if you have OCD, right, and this person see you, you know, putting things together nicely, just how you like it. They come through and just fuck the whole shit up, like just like just to fuck with you type of energy i um i'm not a fan i'm not a fan a lot of sword energy here this person is very cerebral they play a lot of mind games they're very manipulative they're very toxic and i feel like they have a lot of pull in certain areas or resources with the devil clarify the devil A lot of you guys are moving away from this person. Moving on. Yeah, the Empress. Finding your worth, knowing your worth in self, your self-worth and value. It's like, what an Empress look like dealing with this negative ass energy, like this low vibrational ass energy. You could be connecting with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Libra. Or you could have a Libra highly aspected in your chart or Taurus. Or you could be on the cusp. Libra Scorpio. But you're moving on with your life. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. I just heard baby bye bye bye. Bye bye. What's going on with this husband? My husband for Scorpio. Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're gonna leave this person in a daze. Like for, I'll I'll say for two to four weeks, this person's not gonna know what to do without you. 
I feel like you handle everything, Scorpio. Yeah, what did I say? The tower. She gonna be crumbling down. Like, I feel like you handle everything. The bills, the kids, the doctor's appointments, the rent, the, the business. Like, shit wouldn't be afloat without you. And once you move on, this person is going to, like, going to have a major tower. Like, upheaval, upheaval after upheaval here. You could be connecting with a Scorpio or an Aries. Yeah, I just heard another one bites the dust. The hangman at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys are filing divorce for a divorce as well. I see here. I feel like be aware this person's gonna give you a hard time signing that shit. Yeah, five of wands. They're not gonna sign that shit right away. What's give me something for the X? The star. Their ex could be an Aquarius with the nine of pentacles in the reverse or a Virgo. I feel like they're going to ask for some type of assistance from an ex. They're going to go to some, they're going to go to an ex for some type of healing or something like that, but they're going to be rejected. Yeah, seven of wands. The lovers could be a Gemini, but I feel like they're gonna go to an ex to ask for some type of help, and the ex is going to redirect them to their mistress. Like it's something about this ex not being surprised that you left. Like finally, finally, I'm picking up. Finally, she left your ass, or finally he left your dog ass, like something like that. This ex is a fan of you because they went through exactly what you went through this could have this could be an ex that warned you about this person what is lust six of swords and the struggle i feel like too scorpio with you moving on from this person um it's definitely going to teach them a lesson i feel like they're going to um like their toxic ways are going to decrease or their lust for women or men or whatever it may be um, is going to decrease. They're not going to have any, they're not going to feel like pursuing anything now that you're gone. Now that you're gone, you want to come back. Is that a fact? You got it like that. You made me way too long. I'm gone. What is this unfinished business? Page of Wands. This person is not going to be inspired to do anything without you. Like, I'm, I'm seeing this person, like, in a dark room. They could possibly not even shower for days. Just sulking. And I'm not even trying to be negative. Like, this is just what I see. It's like this person is letting everything around them just go to shit. Because they can't even believe that you finally left. Yeah, the world card. They can't believe you finally ended it as well. What is emotionally abusive? Hmm. But that clarity going to kick in. Yep. Judgment. They'll eventually realize that they have to look in the mirror and understand that it's their fault. That they didn't handle you and care for you and nurture you the way that they were supposed to. The judgment. They're judging themselves harshly. All right. So that's what I have, Scorpio. I truly hope this helps. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell. Love you, love you. Peace.